Good morning, it's Dr. Kevin Elko with the Monday Morning Cup of Inspiration. I'm not looking for blessings to come into my life. I'm looking to be a blessing in somebody's life, which is one of my favorite phrases I say to myself. Ernest Gordon, who was a chaplain at Princeton, was at one time an atheist. During World War II, he was captured and taken prisoner. He was captain in the 2nd Battalion. He went into his prison atheist, came out something very different. In this prison camp that he was in, the conditions were deplorable. And because of the scarcity mentality and the conditions, men stole food from one another. They treated one another in very unkind ways. A lot of the men, including Ernest Gordon, because of the conditions, didn't even want to live, didn't want to go on. But two men of faith were captured, and they came in. And these two men changed the atmosphere of the whole camp. Instead of stealing food, they shared food. They nurtured other men. They were men of faith. In fact, there were wounds on Ernest Gordon's legs, and they treated him with towels. They were kind to everyone. St. Francis of Assisi said, go preach the gospel. Use words only when you have to. And that's what these two men did. And they converted him. They converted him. Changed him. These two men did not survive long. But what they did outlived them. And their kindness and their witness changed Ernest Gordon. He went on to serve as a faithful man the rest of his life because of the witness of these two men from nothing they said, just their kindness and the way they went about living this next phrase. I'm not looking for blessings to come into my life. I'm looking to be a blessing in somebody's life. You and I are the same way. People are watching us all the time. Our words are one thing. What they see are something very, very different. Let's go be a blessing today. And when you go to bed, put your shoes way underneath the bed. So you get up in the morning, you have to get on your knees and say, can I just go be a blessing to someone today? That's all. Go preach the gospel. Use words only when you have to. And watch what happens. Watch how significance in your life goes way up and meaning and purpose.